the Small Business Show Special Edition for Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. <music> Greetings, folks, and welcome to the Small Business Show, a little special edition short episode here for you. I am, uh, as always and as expected, here in Durham, New Hampshire. I'm Dave Hamilton. And out in Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean, and happy to come to you on this uh, special edition. wanted to talk about uh, what's going on with small business and the COVID-19 shutdown. You know, everything, things are changing daily. Um, and, you know, right now the focus is on stopping the spread of this virus, which is... Uh, where we have to focus on right now, you know, but I know that all of us small business owners are also trying to keep our businesses afloat, keep your team employed, figure out what's going on. So, you know, we, we get a lot of questions on the show. We got a great question today um, about two major government relief programs that, that came out as part of this CARES uh, package that was approved. Was it Last week, last week, Friday. I think it was Friday that finally, it was finally signed Friday. Into law. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Signed yeah. into law, yep. and so we we want to dive into the details. Yeah, because and, it and talk actually about has some things for small business owners, like it, it does. Like real things that you can do and probably should do. I mean, you right gotta, now, you got like right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, you can, yeah. you should yeah. talk to your accountant and any of the things that we're about to tell you to do here. You know, obviously, Correct. you got to run them through your 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 own little system because we don't know your business. But uh, but yeah, it, this this thing's pretty I, I'm just shocked that it like I've never seen things that are as easy and and uh, and I would agree. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just sort usually of there is. Yeah, usually there's a ton of red tape and it's a pain, yeah. that, you know, to get and everything. But this time there's actually some some, you know, relatively uh, simple steps you can take. Um, and there's kind of three major parts, two of them that affect your business and business owners and then, you know, their employees. And then there's a third one for self-employed that I want to, that I want to talk about. Um, mm. and we, and so we, we got a question from, you know, Riley L he wrote in and asked us, he said, can you guys take some time on your next episode to talk about the, this new government programs that were just announced? Uh, with so much going on, I'm not sure if my business would qualify for any of them. So, um, I was mentioning that you were, Early day before we started, you know, recording, I sat in on a call uh, this morning with uh, Senator Glazer here in our area, and they had some folks from the SBA on, as well as the local chamber of commerce. It was very, very informative, and um, so I thought we would jump in today. That's why I thought we'd do this special edition and give you our take on it and what we think is happening, as well as we can give you some links to to dig deeper for your yeah. business. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so look. Uh, jump in anytime, Dave, too, because I, yeah. I start talking and everything. But but there really is two main programs announced for small business relief. The, the first one is um, one related to payroll and one kind of related, you know, just your business. And we'll go into the this uh, economic injury disaster loan, the EIDL, uh, IDL, they're calling it. And there, there's a few and parts that's, to That's it. the one that's not related to payroll. You don't have to have Correct. employees to qualify for this first one that we're going to talk about here, the idle thing. Yeah. Yeah. And the it's unique in the sense that most SBA, Small Business Administration programs, they don't do it direct. You have to go through a bank, through your lender, you know, or they'll give you the name of a bank to go through and then they guarantee everything. Right. But this is different. So this you can apply right on the uh, SBA website. We'll put a link in the show notes at businessshow.co. Um, it's they're, it's a low interest loan that you can use for most business obligations. I mean, there's a huge list, everything you could imagine you can you know, paying your bills, buying, uh, you know, buying goods, all this kind of stuff. And um, w one of the things you can you can look at is when you're applying for it, there is a checkbox you can check. And the part of the program is a ten thousand dollar advance to get that you will get before your application is you know looked at to whether you're approved or declined. Um, you need to be have been in operation as of January 31st. It can't be a business you just started this week. Um, <laughs> right. You know, okay. Uh, fair. And, yep. and yeah, and you can borrow up to $2 million. 
Um, it's based on some, what you're doing here is you're borrowing, um, to focus on, you know, whatever obligations you have interest, you've got your other lines of credit, you got to pay back all that kind of stuff. And when you apply, you're going to list your previous year's revenue and your cost of goods sold. Cause they're trying to get a feel for how much cash are you, do you need? Yeah. How uh, profitable, to, to, how, what's your profit picture look like? That's right. Yeah. 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 And the, the interesting thing about this uh, idle package is that when you make that $10,000, uh, when you click that checkbox and you request that advance, that is a grant and it does not have to be repaid. Even if your uh, application is turned down, if they say, yeah, we're not, you don't qualify that $10,000 grant is yours to keep, to keep yourself going right now. All they want to know is that you are in business. You have a business. You have to give them your tax ID or your social security, depending upon how you structure you know, your business. And, and that you're... idol is open. Again, we're not accountants, but I'm going to ask you this anyway. That idol is open whether you have a, a LLC or a C Corp or an S Corp, or even if you are a sole proprietor, correct? Sole proprietor. Correct. It's very broad. You, you can just see That's they've crazy. thrown this up yeah. because on the on the call it this morning, it seems too that good I to listened. be true, right? I, yeah, I mean, we'll pay for I, this in the end. By the way, so you should yeah, go. No, get it's this. our money. They're That's just giving our saying. money back to That's us. They're giving it. The back government to us. has. I, I have to remind my kids this all the time. The government has no money. They only have the money that they take from us. Right. So in essence, you know, you're you're getting some of your money back, um, and uh, it. It's an interesting way to do it. And, and I, you really see how they understand, look, the economy is shut down. We even have to really jumpstart it. And so all the things that you normally, all the hoops that you normally have to jump through, they're just gone. The application only takes a few minutes. Yeah. Um, and then they'll follow up information when they request, you know, document stuff, your loss of revenue, what's going on. Um, Cause then that'll also, you get an SBA uh, agent that'll contact you and they're going to help you figure out what's the amount to borrow. Cause you don't want to borrow, you know, the, the, the amount that you borrow other than that $10,000, you're going to have to pay back. So right. you got to factor that in um, those this part, this loan is not forgiven. Just so you can get that access to that ten thousand dollar grant, which could help you through the next you know week or so, or whatever you have going on. You know, maybe it helps you pay your rent. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so we'll put a, a link at the show notes. Uh, at, at again, at businessshow.co. Highly recommend you apply. Uh, you know, if you have to have a, a business that has less than five hundred employees, I imagine most people listening to us. That's applicable. Yep. Um, and uh, I would recommend you do it. Talk to your accountant, but uh, I, I just don't see a lot of reasoning for not applying. Uh, yeah, I'm at, trying at to figure point. out if I should apply for only one of my businesses or multiple Ooh. businesses. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's one thing that the um, uh, folks on this call this morning pointed out from the SBA. The loan is to your to the business, right? Not to you, right? So if you own multiple businesses, multiple companies, uh, and you have taxpayer ID numbers for each of those, I I don't. Again, you might want to talk to your accountant, but I don't see any reasoning why you could not do that, right? So, at that huh. point, yeah. So it's it's interesting. So the second one it's a little more structured, uh, and this one is the the payroll protection program, this PPP. And this is made up of loans for businesses. Um, the, the Yes, we should. <laughs> I'm answering your question, Dave, in the notes. Uh, this is yeah, a casual show, folks, business, so we're just going. This business, yes. too. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if we wanted to talk about that here, but it just hit me. I, I, I was like, wait a minute. we Shannon and I, we have a business entity. We should yeah, do absolutely. this. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Another one, different one. Yeah. Yeah, so this PPP is... Uh, same kind of thing. You have to have less than 500 employees. Um, the unique part of this is, again, y you can be self-employed. You can be a sole proprietor. You can even be an independent contractor, meaning you got paid. You know, there, there's some really interesting nuances. Yeah, to they, it. they're opening a lot up. There were there were some things that basically said if you either are an independent contractor or are paying people as independent contractors, but really they're people. So you yep. could treat them as an employee. They're not, right. it doesn't sound like they're going to use this to come after you for not having no. treated them like an employee. This is truly a, a, a help, not a, they're, you know, they're trying to get cash into people's hands. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Which is, 
which is great. So like, like, Traditional SBA loans; these will go through banks. The these uh, the PPP the program, paycheck protection. Okay, yeah, paycheck protection. They're going to go through banks. Uh, it and as of today, uh, you know, lenders don't have all the details to start it, but they're supposed to have it. Uh, they're hoping by the end of this week, you know, they just got the, the bill just passed on Friday, but I would suggest you contact your banker um, and, and start talking to him about it because there is some unique aspects that I, I, I want to talk about next um, that I know you're going to want to take advantage of and that are going to help your small business. Hmm. The first, there's no personal guarantee required and there's no collateral required. This is not a loan that's based on your credit rating, based on you signing a personal guarantee, based on how much equity you have in your building or your house or anything like that. Um, the payments are deferred for at least six months and not more than a year. So you have some time to get in your feet. Uh, they're going to make loans up to $10 million and basically two and a half times your average payroll from the previous year, plus other expenses that you can add back in like healthcare, vacation, uh, anything. It's a huge basket of things related to what, you, what it costs you to have employees. Right. Wow. Now here's the very, the interesting part is these loans have the option to be forgiven. And the more of your employees you retain, the more or the larger percentage of your loan will be forgiven. Even if you've already furloughed or let go employees, you can bring them back. It counts if you bring them back on. So if you've been like, look, you know, I'm already in in the tank here and I can't keep 20 employees here. I'm down to two and we're making, you know, doing things ourselves or whatever. Um, Once you get the loan, if you bring them back on, you're going to qualify for that forgiveness and and it's prorated. So if, if your business, if you bring 70% of your employees back, you're going to get a 70% uh, a loan forgiveness. And uh, it's going to be based on this two month period after you receive the loan. This is supposed to be okay. short term stuff. Got to it. Keep your uh, business going for the next, you know, couple months as we get the economy back. So on this feet. essentially becomes a grant just like the other one, as long as you're following the the guidelines of keeping people employed, which is obviously Correct. the point of this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wow. And the, the guy from the SBA this morning, uh, you know, he, he couldn't confirm it, but he said, look, we, that our suspicion is that banks are, there's going to be a, a, a big volume of businesses applying for these things, right? Yeah. So especially this PPP. So they suggested you reach out to your b- bank first, wherever you have your accounts, uh, because they are going to, you know, uh, they, the SBA believes they're going to focus on their existing customers first. That right? makes sense. Of course. Why, why, yeah. Of course they should. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you don't have a bank to work with, we'll, again, we'll put a link in the, uh, in the show notes of the, the most active SBA okay. uh, lenders up there. There's like the hundred most and you yeah. know, that, that are easier to maybe easier to work with. So um, that that's the main uh, two parts of this. There's a, yeah. a lot of details to, uh, you know, dive into. I have a couple of other links. There's a, some great articles up on LinkedIn that I will, uh, or that I would suggest you read that can dive into this. Talk to your accountant. I know Dave, you posted an article up on LinkedIn from your attorney yeah. uh, that had some tips. So, you know, you definitely want to get some advice, but I would say y- you want to act quickly because the sooner you get in line, if yeah. you will, the sooner you're going to get some relief. Yeah, it's going to it's going to slow. The system will slow down a little bit, I would think. Right. Yeah, that's that right. makes sense. Uh, yeah. The the SBA rep on the phone or on this call was was saying that, you know, loans of twenty five thousand and less were being approved very quickly. Some people that applied last week had already gotten wow. uh, a check. Wow. So. Yeah, so they're this really only trying. Started to, last week. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said these guys are like people are you know getting this stuff you know done very very quick. The speed is of the essence, I guess, because they're they're worried. Well, no, that's the thing. Be, right? I, you know, and it it I was I, I had a a doctor's appointment. It was with a dermatologist, and it's, it's all everything's fine. Uh, but I was talking to him this morning, and and he really seems to think that we're going to see this in multiple waves, and this is not the only stimulus package that we're going to see. I agree. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, I don't think uh, 
there's any harm in applying for especially the uh the idle one the idle one yeah look at that and see if you need some short-term assistance um you know again get some advice the the other thing is you can apply for both of these the only thing you need to be aware of is when if you go to your banker and apply for the uh paycheck protection program be sure to let them know if you got that ten thousand dollar grant part of the idle program because they're going to deduct that from whatever they loan you. Okay. Uh, so you can't double dip. Got it. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you okay. don't want to get, get in there, in there backwards. And you know, you don't want to take out that loan if you're not going to keep your people on for this paycheck protection program. Cause then you're just right. going to have to have another loan, whatever's left over after that, uh, two month period, you know, once you get your, uh, this, this PPP loan, they convert to a 10 year note to pay off at 4%. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Um, That's not bad. So, yeah. So dig a little deeper in these. I would, again, uh, urge you to do some some quick action. Uh, And then lastly, the another new aspect of this uh, CARES package is that if you're self-employed or you're a contractor or a gig worker, you can now file an unemployment claim. And you have not been able to do that before. And this includes things like real estate agents, uh, you know, all kinds of different classifications that never qualified. If you're, a, you know, an independent contractor, if you're a, a podcast producer, yeah. if you're whatever, whatever you could think musicians, of. Musicians. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Musicians. Yeah. If you have lost your uh, earning power here during this, uh, you know, this crisis that we're dealing with, you have an opportunity to put a claim in for unemployment and it's not just regular unemployment. It's there. It's like unemployment plus, you know, right. Uh, There's a, there's some additional funding that come in play to help you get through this stuff. And it's another thing that I would encourage you. um, Again, I don't know that the, you you need to check with your state unemployment office and see whether they have that up and running. Um, But there's a lot of opportunities to help you out here. And we just we wanted to do this special edition of the small business show to be sure that uh, uh, we could get the word out and you were able to take advantage of those things when you need it. All right. Well, you've got some work to do, folks, and it's it's work that's almost guaranteed to be uh, to be cash flow positive. I don't want to say profitable or lucrative, but cash flow positive work. Yeah, that's right. And that's the point of this. Yeah. That's yeah. It. And, and uh, let us know if you have you know questions or comments, if you think we didn't uh, present something correctly. This is as much as we know right now. It's a very fluid situation. Yeah, please but let us know. Yeah. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you. Feedback at businessshow.co um, or come over to the small business support group, businessshow.co slash Facebook, and you can talk more about it with us there. That's great. Um, as always, we appreciate your support and we hope this information helps you out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, go to uh, businessshow.co slash guides and, and buy our book about mistakes. And don't make the mistake of ignoring this stuff. So there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, folks. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you the next time we see you. Next week, tomorrow. I don't know. One of those things. It'll definitely be one of those, if not both. 